Hey guys, what's up? So today I wanted to show you some stuff I got for my birthday. My hair is really crazy today, but I'm just letting it do its own thing. This is my first day being 25 years old. So I'm slowly starting not to care. Just kidding, but really I don't care about my hair today. I didn't get a whole lot for my birthday this year and I don't say that like preface it like, I didn't get a lot this year. I'm saying what I ask for more than anything this year and what I'm going to ask for at any gift giving holiday from now until my wedding is just money towards my wedding. Um, so I did get so much to go towards my wedding and I'm so grateful and happy and excited and relieved about that. I'm feeling so relieved today. I know this isn't a vlog, but I just wanted to say really quickly, I was stressing about a doctor appointment and I got that completely sorted out and it's great. I was stressing about money for this wedding a little bit and that's pretty much worked itself out and that's great. And there was a third thing that I can't even remember now that I was stressed about that's worked itself out too. So I just feel really good today. Okay, so as you guys know, maybe, Dustin is actually out of town right now doing a film uh, festival that he does every single year so he's always gone on my birthday so typically what he does is either gives me like the big present before he leaves or the big pres present present when he gets back and then his mom pretty much brings me up the rest of the presents that he's gotten me and then she'll bring me like a sweet little treat like this year she brought donuts um, some Dunkin Donuts coffee that was so good and balloons um, and he always just wants me to feel like special at work and everything so the gifts that I'm showing you from Dustin are what I've gotten so far. I do know that he has one more for me and I'm not sure what that is, but he's going to give that to me when uh, he comes back. So I don't know if you guys do this too, but I very much look forward to birthday coupons that I get through my email or whatever else, anywhere that I'm signed up. So I did make an order from Victoria's Secret for a new bra, which if you haven't been able to have a new bra, like a really nice one in a long time, that in and of itself is like an amazing thing. So I got a killer deal on one of those. It's not here yet, but I treated myself to that. Let's jump into this. I'm not gonna go and like everything from Dustin order, everything from whoever order, cause I have my whole bed full of my stuff and I'm just gonna pick it up and go that way. So this first thing actually is from Dustin. I had told him a few days before he left that Pusheen is like my new um, thing for some reason right now, just like, I think it's really cute and adorable. So he got me these two air fresheners for my car that are vanilla scented and I think that's so cute. I said I wasn't gonna go in order but it kind of looks like it so far but I'm, I'm not really. So the other things that Dustin got me were these two movies that I'm about to sit down and partake in. He got me Hocus Pocus which I like and I'm always talking about but I've never had it on DVD or VHS or anything like that. Like I think that movie's that old that it would be on VHS, right? And then Hotel Transylvania he got me also which I could be wrong about this but I feel like um, the Hotel Transylvania 2 is on Netflix. I can't remember though, but I've never seen Hotel Transylvania, so I wanted to see that one. This is like a funny gift sort of to go in theme with everything else, and I'm kind of super excited about this one, but these are custard cups. Um, I'm really excited about this because Dustin's grandma, so we call her Mima, she gave these to me and I have been really excited about things I'm getting for the house and I have been vlogging recently about my latest house news if you guys want to search around or I'll try to link my latest vlog about that somewhere. But anyways, so she got me these custard cups. They're really, really good. They're super heavy and nice like glass ones and then they come with the tops too, which I, um, we like joked when she gave these to me. I was like, I don't know how to make custard and she was like, well, you can put pudding in them. So. Anyways, it's just nice to have a few more things for my house. Dustin's grandma also got me a wedding album for my pictures, which is nice because this is something I actually don't have for my wedding and it's really nice on the um, inside of it. You can like put your pictures and then do a little like caption. So anyways, I was really excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this one. This is my most favorite thing ever. Like not even talking gift wise, just like, it could have made me cry picking it out. So I saw this cute little handbag and um, I've been wanting something that I can wear like crossbody or just something smaller that I don't have to bring everything in with me because what I'm finding myself doing now more than ever is I'll bring my big purse, but then, which I like bigger purses, but I don't want to carry it around all the time. One of my biggest fears in life is the um, 
not the smoke alarm, but the security alarm going off when I walk out of store. I get paranoid, so I only bring my wallet and my phone and my keys in places, but then I get like where I'm trying to pick things up and put it in my basket and I just have too much going on. So this bag already is super cute, super like chic. It's not quite long enough. Well, I guess it is to be a crossbody. I'll probably just wear it on my arm since it's so light, but you guys, I got it monogrammed and it's my first thing with a W instead of a C. So if you guys don't know, I'm getting married in March and um, the thought of writing a new last name and like living in a different place, the whole thing is so crazy and new to me, but this was my first W and I'm so in love with it. It looks so good, it's so cute. So you guys will see that on my Instagram with outfits, I'm sure a ton, but it's so my favorite. I love it so much. Also, if you're wondering where I got that from, I picked it out, like I said, but it's a boutique down near my grandma's house. So I don't know where you could find it um, like locally to you, but I know a lot of boutiques actually do monogram things. So I would look there first. This is from Dustin's mom and dad. This is my fave, you guys. I have a thing for socks, comfy socks for cute mugs like coffee cups and blankets. I'm the worst for picking up a thousand blankets for no reason like you guys know at Target there's like a five dollar spot where there's cute little blankets that are themed to whatever like this one I happen to have back here that's spider webs for Halloween. I love comfy blankets like that I get that from my mom. So David and Teresa got me this Sherpa blanket that I just love so much. I slept on it like legit the first night that I had it. Um, and it's so comfortable. I can't wait to, again, decorate a house with like cute blankets and pillows and stuff like that. The other thing his parents got me. So let me do a little backstory on this because just looking at it, you guys will be like, oh, that's cute. And then not understand probably. But Dustin's mom pretty much has picked an animal for all of her kids. So that's uh, Dustin and Drew his brother so they have their like separate animals and every time she sees a like stuffed animal or like an animal ornament for a Christmas tree or something like that she pretty much picks it up I don't know if anybody else does that or not but anyways she decided a long time ago that I'm a fox um, because of this little fox shirt that I had that's literally all that it took and then ever since then I've been the fox in the family and she got me this little pillow that I like kind of got teary-eyed when I opened it, which is funny, only because I was just thinking about how sweet it is that she's accepted me kind of the way that she has. But he has his little tail um, and then his little pom-poms on his hat, which I think is so cute, so I love that so much. Teresa also got me this shirt that is like a baseball tee style and the colors of it are really cute, but what's super cute about it is she actually put the detail on the front of it. She said it was a class at one of her Bible groups. Um, a little small group that she went to so she put that on the front of it and then the colors I think are just super fall super super cute so I love that next from a different boutique so a different place that I got the little purse but another boutique down near my grandma this I think will be easy to find because it is I feel like a big trending thing right now this you guys is so cute it's a camo dress so the sleeves are done up like this and then it's just like it's lower I guess a little longer than past my knee but not by much but it's so cute it's not too thick which is something that dresses that aren't short sleeve or like no sleeve I have a hard time with I much prefer to wear something that I can layer and like get warmer and then if I get hot like take layers off instead of having something that's hot that I can't take layers off of I thought that this color would go really pretty with it so this is just like a maroony type of um, bracelet type of bracelet is what I said but I don't know why and then this necklace it's so stinking cute so it has arrow details on like the ends of it and you can basically wrap this around to make it a choker to have like long like side pieces I don't know if that makes sense or however you want to it's basically just a string that you make into a necklace so I think that's really really cool my grandma, my dad's mom, also got me this little bracelet that's super cute. I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is again from a boutique and I feel like this is mostly at boutiques where I see it, but people take spoons and make like spoon jewelry, which is so cool, but it's a bracelet with an S on the front of it and then it just has a magnetic clasp in the back of it, but I think that one's really cute. Okay, I was gonna say I have two more things, but I actually have five more things, but they'll go quick. This, this video is so short already, I feel like. So my grandma texted me, my, my dad's mom, when I was at work asking um, which pairs of boots I liked. My grandma got me this pair, 
which is so cool. The back has this like braided detail and the straps that are going this way almost feel like suede or something. So I think those are really, really cute. I need to stop saying that. I think everything I got is really, really cute. I was shocked that these fit. So these are thigh high boots. They're suede and then the back has this little like tassel that you can tighten it. But you guys, that actually fits my thigh. Isn't that crazy? It looks so tiny when I was getting it out of its box. I kind of felt like bad because I was like, ooh, she bought these and this is not gonna fit me, but it actually did. So these are really cute. I'm already thinking in my head like all the ways I'm gonna be able to style those and I'm just living for it. I have three more things. One is the thing that I'm wearing. I'm gonna try to show you guys the front and the back of it, but we'll see how this goes. Dustin got me this. And on the front, it says Jurassic Park staff, what? And then on the back, but it says Park Ranger. Basically this hoodie is life and I'm gonna wear it until I die. This was from Dustin also that again I told him like days before this was something that I wanted but it's this cup from Bed Bath & Beyond and it says does this ring make me look engaged and then my mom's mom got me this she also got me a baby picture that I forgot to take off the wall but um, it's really cute and I can show you guys if you really want to see it but she got me this and this is my fave I've been drinking out of it all day because today actually is Halloween it says Halloween's a hoot and then on the other side it has an owl <laughs> which is so cute I think that's everything. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't know what it would be. So like I said, I was getting a lot of money to go towards my wedding, which is like such a good feeling because I'm literally saving every single penny that I get to go towards that. However, I did buy two pairs of shoes that I'm actually going to show you guys here because I don't really have enough to do like a haul video. Um, and I just did like my bridal haul for you guys that I've gotten for months and months and months over time. But these are so cute. There was a deal going on at Payless where you buy one pair and then you get the second pair for like $7.49 or something. Let me preface this with saying you guys know how much I love to find a good deal. So pretty much the higher, like better value of a deal for a lower price that I can get, I'm all about it. So like I said, it was buy one get one $7.49. But the buy one pair was already on sale. It was marked down to $29.99, I think. But originally it was $40. So typically, if I would have paid both of these, full price for both of them, it would have been $80. And I only ended up paying, I think, like $20. These are my life. I love them so much. They're just like street style, to me anyways, street style sneakers. The top right here where it's like, um, mesh looking is actually rubber which is really cool and then this part of it I don't even know what material this is because I'm kind of an idiot but um, um, I love this a lot I love the way that it ties in the front and everything about it so I've pretty much been pairing this with black leggings my two go-to outfits I think that would be really cute for this is olive pants like olive skinny jeans and a white t-shirt um, jeans and like a blush trench coat or um, like the wool coats that are in right now that are a little bit longer or all black which for me is like an exercise outfit except I would never work out in these shoes because they're so nice but um, just like black leggings and like a black tank top or something. The other pair I got so that basically I could wear both of these pairs at work because um, at work I don't sit so I'm like on my feet all day long so on Tuesdays and Thursdays that's a really pretty long day to be standing up all day and um, these I thought I could style them in such a way that they weren't like too casual looking whereas my other sneakers are definitely too casual looking. So these are Champions, which I love Champions. They're like my favorite. They're some of the most comfortable, um, I almost said food. <laughs> They're some of the most comfortable shoes that I own. So this is just a gray, it's a basic looking little pair. They kind of look similar to Adidas, but um, again, I thought I could style these a bunch of ways that would make them casual, but appropriate to wear at work. Anyways, that's actually everything for my birthday haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you're having an awesome Halloween, or at this point that you have had an awesome Halloween and that we're, that we're safe, is what I was gonna say, which is true, but I hope that you were safe. If you have any other requests for me, let me know. I wanna do some fashion videos. If you guys are down with that, please let me know, and I'll be working on that for you guys. I'm so excited to be back into filming right now. I like feel super motivated to get on top of it, so I'm really in the game, and I hope that you guys can tell. Thanks for watching so much. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.